just feel like the way that you guys can your offense? Well, I mean, I know I'm definitely a weapon because you know, when I, even when I'm not shooting, you know, I can space the floor and open up the lane for my teammates mm -hmm. and um, help them make uh, plays. So, I mean, that's uh, just trying to play off everybody and just make the right reads. It's one of you guys to do that to collect. I mean, not just you, but I think 7 to 20, 8 to 3, to see everybody start to really find, uh, you know, the range from outside. Well, I think a lot of it starts with Ty. I think mm. he's really found his confidence over these last couple of games. So it's been, it's been good to see him happy again and just, you know, back into it. One thing I really respect about Ty is that he doesn't really, like, let a lot of, um, you know, the media or attention like that stuff, kind of stuff get to him. You know, people are trying to make you know, graphics and memes and all that crazy stuff and him missing shots, but it you know, happens to every player in the course of the season. So he really stayed the course and, uh, you know, he, uh, he continued to lead. Were you in his ear when he, when he was doing, when he was struggling to shoot? Were you in his ear? No, yeah. absolutely not. I, you know, it's, there was enough people in his ear. Uh, he's got great people in his corner, and I think that he's going to keep working stuff out of him. We talked about Jarris a few times. How impressive was his performance tonight, stepping up when you guys, obviously both him and Ben, step up tonight when you guys had Aaron out? Again, I'm not surprised. Um, Jarris is mm -hmm. someone who's really been ready all season when his number was called. And, uh, again, it's, I think his confidence is just years beyond, you know, you know what a rookie's is. And so it's, you know, I think he comes here with his great vision, makes good plays, defends, big body, and goes all that's what, 20 years old. So I think this guy's a little for him.